Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve absolute value inequalities with greater than. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. If you remember from our previous video, we talked about this topic, the absolute value inequalities with greater than, but with a more basic problem. We have a little more advanced problem here that hopefully can really boost your understanding. We have our absolute value of 2x is minus 3 is greater than or equal to 5. And we're going to use our rule here, specifically the second one. If absolute value of u is greater than or equal to a, which we have, our u value is a 2x minus 3. I'm going to put a value of 5 if you want to see it that way. Then u is less than or equal to negative a, or u is greater than or equal to a positive a. So let's take that. We have a 2x, our u value, 2x minus 3 is less than or equal to a negative 5. Or, similarly, 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to a positive 5. Now from here, we want to solve each part individually. I'm going to add a 3 to both sides in the first one. 3's cancel. 2x is less than or equal to negative 5 plus 3, which is a negative 2. Divide both sides by 2, and x is a less than or equal to, negative 2 over 2 is a negative 1. We got the first part here, or. Second part, same idea. Add a 3 to both sides. 2x is greater than or equal to, write these negative 3s and positive 3 cancels out, 5 plus 3 is an 8. Divide both sides by 2, and you should know how to do that, 2's cancel, and x is greater than or equal to 8 over 2, which is F4. So we have x is less than or equal to negative 1, or x is greater than or equal to positive 4, and we need to graph that solution. So let's go create a number line right here, and let's make sure we encompass really everything we need. Let's start at 0 right here, and we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6 just to be balanced. So First one, x is less than or equal to a negative 1. It can equal a negative 1, so we put a closed circle right here at negative 1. And since it's less than negative 1, we put the arrow to the left. x is greater than or equal to a positive 4, same idea, closed circle here at positive 4. And because it's equal to, but we're greater than that, so we put the arrow to the right. We have our graph here. We've graphed our inequality, and now we need to write our solution in interval notation. So the lowest value here we have is negative infinity, right? We can go all the way to negative infinity. And we go all the way up to uh, negative 1. But we can equal negative 1, so we put a bracket there. Put a union, because we have two separate ones here. Our next value here, we have a positive 4. We can equal that, so we put a bracket here, 4, all the way to positive infinity. That number line is going to go on forever. So we have a positive infinity right there. Parenthesis because it's infinity. And there we have it. Our interval notation is negative infinity to negative 1 with a bracket there, union, bracket 4 to positive infinity, and then parentheses on the infinity sides. I hope you learned something here on how to solve absolute value inequalities with greater than. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.